Blue Key and Key Largo National Marine Sanctuaries are prime scuba diving and snorkeling spots on the only living tropical coral reef off the North American coast. They contain a variety of well-developed coral and marine communities that support a highly diverse ecosystem. Coral reefs are among the most biologically productive of all natural communities. These colorful, hard structures are actually formed from the substances secreted by coral. Although they resemble plants, corals are actually stationary animals, closely related to jellyfish and sea anemones. The reefs provide food and shelter to many species of fish, crabs, spiny lobster, and starfish. Rarely is such an infinite variety of marine life clustered within such easy view of the visitor. To dive the sanctuaries off the Florida coast is to journey into a national trust where they belong to all of us. National marine sanctuaries are established to provide protection and management for special ocean areas. Research and educational programs are conducted to improve our understanding of the marine environment. Recreational activities such as fishing, diving, photography, and boating are encouraged. To ensure the continued vitality of these reefs, it is important that visitors understand and respect their fragile nature. Protection offered a natural area by sanctuary status is only effective when visitors understand it is really their cooperation that makes the difference in preserving these special places. Known worldwide for their beauty and variety, these reefs are host to hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. Because of their popularity and high visitation, it is up to each of us to help protect these wondrous places. Coral colonies are made up of many fragile animals called polyps. They will be damaged by even the lightest touch. It is not necessary to actually break the coral to cause damage. Even a very careful diver can cause unseen wear and tear on the reef through inadvertent contact. Try counting the number of times your fins, hands, knees, or tank touch the coral on a dive, and then imagine the cumulative effect that half a million divers a year can have on the reefs. Activities that would dangerously stress the living coral reef are prohibited. Handling, removal, or destruction of any natural reef feature or marine life, except for spiny lobster in season, is strictly forbidden. Coral, shells, starfish, sponges, and other animals cannot be removed from the sanctuaries. The removal of historic or cultural artifacts is also prohibited. Spear fishing is not allowed. This is one reason why the fish are so friendly. You can almost reach out and touch them. With the large number of people visiting the sanctuaries each year, half a million touches, a million or more steps, and it would not take very long for this beautiful place to be drastically changed. Your visit will be safe and rewarding if you will help us maintain these sanctuaries so those following you will have as rich an experience as is offered to you today. Remember, just touching live coral causes damage to the fragile polyps. Please do not allow your tank, knees, or fins to contact the coral.
core part in sanctuary management is cooperation. Help us protect the reefs from ourselves. Your efforts will keep the reefs healthy, vital, and living.